Rare coins, these ones, they're Centenary Federation coins. This is Western Australia, and this one here is the ACT. A few recent finds that I've had, and yep, the Centenary Federation coins, $2 to $18 is a recent selling price range. Between two and three million of each of the different state and territory designs were minted, and they're, yep, 2,001 50 cent coins. And for the set of them, for the complete set of them, $35 to $145 for all nine of the different states, territories, and also Norfolk Island. Now, the reason I'm showing those right there is because I've got a 50 cent coin roll right here, and on the end of the roll, there is a 2,001 50 cent coin, so that could be one of these. Now, I found those two just recently, that's what I've got them to the side. So let's get this bag into position, and we'll get the little Damascus steel tool my brother made for me. Awesome, look at that, look at the design in that, that's cool. Love it, thank you, bro. And we'll see if that one there is a Centenary of Federation State and Territory coin. Let's get some zoom. Ooh. And one, two, three, boom. Oh, this is the Australia design. So they made about close to 50 million of this particular one with Australia coat of arms. But each state and territory have their own coat of arms. And that's why they've got the different state and territory ones just to celebrate all the different territories of Australia. So there you go, let's put that in the bag. We'll check the rest of the coins because we might find another one in the rest of them. But any of the uh, low mintage dates that are on the list are worth searching for. Here's a 1980, these can have a thing called a double bar. So behind the emu's head, you can have two little lines of metal coming in. And we're not, not seeing it there under the light. Two little lines of metal come into the emu's head. So not on that one, but it's worth looking for. We'll whip through the, the whole lot. Hopefully you've been having a great day. Ooh, pretty dirty. 2010. These are known to have rotations. You hold it at the top and the bottom and you flip it around and you hope that the queen's nose is not pointing to three o'clock because that's the way it's supposed to be. But sometimes when you flip it around, the queen's nose is pointing in a different direction. So if you could find one of those, a recent selling price range, $40 to $65 on the list right there. And the coin value lists are available through the link in my account. So click my profile picture and the link below the Australian flag. Here we go, 979. This could be a double bar. I can see a very faint line looks like it there. One line there, but it could be, it could be. Let's get, let's see how good this camera is. I've got a new sort of camera. It's not really, no, that's just must be a little bit of damage through there. So not a double bar. There we go. This camera gets in really tight, doesn't it? Got a new phone and it can zoom in obviously a bit better than the, my last one. Last coin, 2013. But yes, those Centenary of, uh, Centenary of Federation state and territory coins are all awesome coins to put into your collection. Cool.